Hello, hello everyone. Welcome Jenny crew to another Jenny flow class. My name is Jenny. I'm joined today by my dog Yogi, the one and only Yogi. He just had all this, the last of his teeth removed and so I could not bear to kick him out of the studio today, but he's quiet as a mouse and he will, I'm sure, find a spot to settle. <laughs> Go ahead and start with our feet in our home position. Stand up nice and tall. Let's close our eyes. Just settle everything for a moment. Finding a nice, easy breath in through the nose and easy breath out through the nose. With each breath in, start to find a little bit of space, lengthen up out through the crown of the head. And with each breath out, let go of something you don't need. Letting go of expectations, letting go of competition. When we're ready, we're gonna open up our eyes. We're gonna go right into everyone's favorite, our breaststroke. So nice and easy, just waking up the shoulders, the chest, the upper back. And then go ahead and reverse that, moving in the opposite direction. Go ahead and take our poles now. We're going to double them up. Take an overhand grip and step up to the top of our mat. Slide those shoulders up, back, and down. Tuck that tailbone. Spread those toes out. And on our next breath in, reach those arms forward and up. Exhale, squeeze the belly, squeeze those glutes, a little tiny back bend. And then gently fold forward all the way down. Take our poles. Press them into the tops of our thighs. Squeeze the shoulder blades back. Exhale, let it go. Bend those knees and roll all the way up to stand. Do that one more time. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, little tiny back bend. And then fold forward all the way down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. This is where let those poles come down. Plant your hands down, step back to our plank. Just a moment here, big breath in. Draw the belly button up. Exhale, push back through those heels. Pedal out those feet. Say good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to your calves, to your spine, your hamstrings, just really stretching everything out. And then just twice, we're gonna inhale, roll through our spine, move forward to plank. And exhale, hinge it back down, dog. One more time, roll forward to plank. And send it back to downward dog. Walk or step or hop those feet up to our hands. Grab a hold of our poles. Inhale, find length. Exhale, let it go. Bend those knees and roll all the way up to stand again. Inhale, reach up. Little back bend. Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, find length. Exhale, let it go. Bend those knees. Step or hop back to our plank. Hold for a moment. And then exhale, hinge it back. Downward facing dog. Pedaling out those feet again. Pushing one heel down and then the other. Inhale, you're going to roll forward into our plank. And exhale, hinge it back. Down dog. One more. Roll forward to plank. And exhale, hinge it back. Bend those knees, step or hop those feet up to our hands. Grab our poles, inhale, find length. Exhale, let it go. Bend those knees, roll it all the way up to stand. Inhale, reach those arms up. And then exhale, lower them right back down. We're gonna take our poles into our home position. Bring those feet hip width apart. Slide those shoulders up. Back and down. We inhale, bend those knees, hinge it back into our chair. Soften the shoulders. Exhale, pull the poles towards our rib cage. Inhale, gently lower. And exhale, come right back. Moving as always at your own pace. So, as we like to say here at Jetty Fitness, find your fitness freedom. So, that applies to classes as well. So really 
you know, tune in. This is a great class to really take the time to tune into your body. See what it's asking for, right? What does it need today? It's gonna be different than what it needed yesterday and what it will need tomorrow. So staying present definitely helps. That's what we're aiming to do for these 15 minutes. Last one right here. We're gonna inhale, bend those knees, sit down nice and low. We're actually gonna step our right foot back. Now move these poles, excuse me, puppy, over as much as you need to. Soften into those shoulders, moving into a gentle lunge. We're gonna inhale, bend that back knee, and exhale length. Inhale, lower, and exhale length. Now, if the knee gently kisses the mat, great. If it doesn't, that's great too. That's always working within, you know, what the body wants to do today, right? Finding those limits, finding the edge. You're working to it, not over it. One more right here. We're gonna gently spin this back heel down to open up the poles to the long end of the mat. Gently bend into that front knee and lengthen. Twice more, gently bend, and lengthen, and bend, and lengthen. We're gonna bend that front knee, take your hands to those middle grips, reach those arms nice and long. Flip that front palm up, and reach it back to reverse warrior. Inhale, come back through center, twice more. Exhale, reverse. Inhale up, exhale, reverse. Inhale, come up, exhale, flip that palm straight in the legs. Take our poles, double them up, inhale, reach those arms up, send that hip towards the back of the mat, and reach the body forward, a little trikonasana triangle variation for three. Pull the shoulders back, spin the heart up, two, breathe, and one, gently come up, Lower those arms and we're gonna spin those feet around. Take our poles in front of us, again, along the long edge of the mat, soften the shoulders, bend that knee, and then lengthen. Bending that knee, and lengthen. One more. Last time, hold. Take those hands to those middle grips, reach long through those arms, soften the shoulders, Front palm flips up, exhale, take it back. Ah, it feels good along the waist. And inhale, come center. Twice more, exhaling. And inhaling. Last time, exhale. And inhale, straighten those legs and let those poles come together. Take a hold of an overhand grip, middle, right between those grips. Take a big breath in, send that back hip back. Micro bend this front knee and take the body on a diagonal. Breathe in here for three. Strong breaths. Two. And one. Come all the way back up and let those arms come down. Good. We're gonna take these feet, heel toe them in just a little bit. Keep them wide and all 10 toes face forward. Inhale, reach those arms all the way up to the sky. Little tiny back bend. And then exhale, reach forward, 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 forward. Go to a flat back. Plug the shoulders back. Micro bend those knees. Fire up the belly. Gaze down. And then allow the upper body just to gently release down. So head is heavy. Arms are hanging. Let's just bend and straighten these legs a little bit right here. Breathe into the backs of those legs. Nice job, everyone. Let's go ahead and bend the knees, pull the belly button in, slowly roll it all the way up to stand. And again, heel toe those feet underneath of us. Go ahead and just shake out those legs and let our poles come down. All right, we're gonna come into tree pose. So bring your feet with the part into parallel. Pick that right knee up, flex this foot, open it up, and let that foot either come to the side of the calf, toes to the floor, heel to the ankle, or maybe we take this foot and we take it up to that inner thigh. 
What we don't want to happen is this foot to slide down to the side of that knee because it creates a lot of instability in that knee. We don't want any of that. So above or below the knee, allow the poles to help you find your balance right here. And then if we want to grow our tree, we take our hands to those middle grips and we're going to reach those arms out long. Try to drop that hip down. Find one focal point out in front of us. If it's all over, that's okay. Trees are not completely still. And gently lower down and just moving right into the other side. So picking up the opposite knee, flex that foot, turn it out and let the foot come into contact with your standing leg. Again, even out these hips. Smoothing out that breath. Maybe we take those arms up on a high diagonal this time. Letting go any tension in the face and the mouth and the shoulders and neck. And then gently let everything come back down and just give those legs a nice little shake. Thank them for supporting us. And then bring our feet hip width apart. We're going to take those poles right back down into our home position and we're going to end just like we began with a little breaststroke right here. So slowing it down this time even more so that the time it takes you to circle all the way around is a whole breath. And if it helps to soften the gaze or close our eyes, sometimes that helps just to really dial everything in. And on the next breath stroke, as we bring our arms around into the front, we're gonna pause. So ending, standing tall, kneecaps lifted, draw the belly button up and in, lengthen through the back of your neck. Take a smooth breath in, fill everything up. Smooth breath out. Gently open up your eyes. And you are all done. Thank you so much for sharing your time and your energy with me. Hope you feel good and relaxed and stronger. So, if you want more, go ahead and stack this class with another one. Make sure you tag us on social media at Jenny Fit. I love seeing everyone's, you know, testimonials of the classes that they have tried and loved. So be sure to find us on social if you have not already. All right, everyone. I'm Jenny. This was your flow. Until next time. Hey, everyone. Amazing job in that Jetty Flow class. This is Jenny and I am so, so proud of you. Do you wanna make sure that you do more of this? Do you want it? Do you like it? What do you think? I think the answer is yes. Make sure you download our Jenny Fit app where we drop new classes every single week. Also make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and click that little bell icon so you don't miss a thing. All right, make sure you Jenny flow with the go and have a fantastic rest of your day.